Okay. Well, hello and welcome to our Q&A. Got to get our heads the same. Same size. Same size. You get too close, it's too big. Uh, does that look about right? Yeah, we got to get in the middle. Get in the okay, middle. You, you lean in more. Okay, like that. Yeah, there now, we go. now we're in the now middle. Our heads the same size? They're, they're too little now. <laughs> Are they? Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and start with our, our Q&A. And let's start you, with... I thought you were going to say start with an opening prayer. Start with an opening prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been around church too long. Okay. Bella, Bella, Bella says you should make a makeup tutorial. Tutorial. I love the lipstick. And how do you do your eyes? Thank you. And I did do a makeup tutorial. I'll post that. And uh, also... Um, that's just really nice of you to say. And I base make is there, is there still something called base makeup? Like you used I to use? I used to use it, but I don't anymore. I think they call it foundation now. But I haven't used that for like forty years. How old are you? Thirty years. I'm <laughs> yeah. How old am I? My grandkids want want to know that. When I tell them that I was raised with an outhouse, they say, "Huh? How old are you?" <laughs> okay, a bit of a little bit of everything. Um, do you have anchors for your greenhouse? I know where you live gets windy at night at times. Yeah, it had some, had four ropes that you anchor it down to. And I anchored it and tucked it back in that corner. Because I'm worried about it blowing away too. See, there's yeah, a solid fence on two sides. So yeah, there's no wind that, that will gets help. down there. But I know it does get very, very windy. So I tied tied it down and hopefully that will work i hope so because i was worried about that too so that's a good question okay you want to read the next one uh nay 55 yeah nay 55 <laughs> do you put mascara on your bottom lashes as well as the top yes i do i and yes i do i i i think it opens my eyes up more uh to use it on the bottom too uh, cause my eyes are kind of little and that opens them up. Some people have nice, you know, nice big eyes and, but I have smaller eyes so that opens it up. Okay. Terry Dennis, can you tell me what lip scents you wear and where you get it from? Okay. The lip scents color that I use is Sherry Berry and, uh, Sherry Berry Diamond. Diamond. Sherry Berry Diamond. I like that one the best. There's some other colors I've used. Uh, I have Sherry Berry and then, um, there's another one that I put on. You can mix them too, and then um, and then she also wants to know if the if Lip Sense has a gloss or if that one is a gloss. And they do have a gloss that you can put on, and you you put that on. It makes it nice and shiny. No, but is it in combination with the? Uh, no, it's a separate. It's a separate thing. The gloss is separate, and and they usually recommend that you put it on two or three times a day. But I don't. I I'm not going to sit and fuss like that. But some people like their lips glossy all the time. So they're always putting the gloss on. But like I put the gloss on this morning and it's kind of wore off. Apparently it doesn't stay on uh, all day when you're kissing. <laughs> I, was, I, no. was, I was thinking that, but I thought I wouldn't mention Yeah, that. I read your mind. Okay, Kimberly Niven, love your videos as always. Thank you. That's so nice of you. Have you ever thought about moving or downsizing? Not yet. No, nope. so now, far. Now people downsize when they're they're finished with life, so to speak. And they, I know <laughs> they want to sit around and watch TV all day, or they don't want to. Do, not able to do yard work. And so, so far, right now, we're not ready yet. Maybe give us another 20 years. and then Our grandkids would not permit us to sell this house because they <laughs> love it here. Yeah, they love it too much. They go, what would we do? No, they, our grandkids would love it if we moved in with them. That's what they want us to do. If oh, they yeah. just live here, Grandma, yeah, at their six, house. six different kids, so. And then I say, well, yeah, we could take turns at each of their houses. No, they'd probably but, say, can you move here, but not don't bring Grandpa. No, you. they want Grandpa. They want <laughs> Grandpa to come along. But uh, I tell them, if I moved in with you, then you wouldn't be able to come to Grandma's house. And they go, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but we're not ready for that yet. But that's a good question. Because um, yard work is a lot of work. And no, but there's things like... And you could we, hire... We freeze a lot of food, and can you imagine moving in with one of our kids and say, "We need yeah, two we freezers." Yeah, we bring our two freezers. Bring our two freezers. Uh, <laughs> okay. And we need our king size bed, 
Uh, Our king size water bed. Water bed. Yeah, we need. I don't know. Well, we could move in. They would say we don't have room for all that that you want to bring. We'll have to think about that. But no, there's no thinking. We're not. There's not. Go. Well, yet. I always end sentences with a yet. Okay, ancestral bliss, Mama. Oh, do you, do I ever like that plastic tent over your new side bed? And that's just that little. You it said just, side bed. Yeah, the side bed, the set, oh. the side garden, not not the greenhouse, but the side bed, and that. That um, works really well too, but the wind keeps blowing it off, and I've left it off uh, while it's raining. And then I, if it gets, if it's going to get below freezing, then I put it over over the but, garden at but night. But the rain, hard rain, is only in the springtime. Yeah. In, in the heat of the summer. Yeah. We don't so get I rain. would use it in the springtime and in the winter time, so that I could get more life out of my plants. And she wants to know where I got that, and I got it off of Amazon. And she loved the What's idea. What's the official name for it, so she can look it I don't it know. Mm -hmm. I like what she called it, plastic tent. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure there's an official name. I'll, green, I'll look it up. How about greenhouse tent? It might be something to do with the greenhouse, but it's just the little thing that I put over my side garden. And she likes the idea of the boardwalk. We've had that boardwalk that Papa O built 40, 43 years ago. And then we just, it's just stayed together. We kind of had to have well, our nails it used to in. Be, it used to be part of the wood to get our coal stove going. Yeah. And they were the longer pieces, and yeah. so it didn't cost us anything. And maybe the longer pieces, the long piece that we boarded them to, cost. And she was wondering if Papa made those, and he did. And she says it looks like two by fours along the base and fence plank type, and fence plank. What type of wood is on the top? And she wants to do something similar like that to her yard. Top. I don't wood. know what was the wood. It's just. Wait, wait a minute. Um, what, but what is it? The wood that we put on the planks. It's made from it, the same material that they build the trusses yeah. in houses with. And, I like it, and it was the leftover pieces uh, that they just cut off the ends. And, and the size of trusses they make, when they, when they get a piece that's either 8, 16, or 24 feet long, there's always a little bit they don't use, and that's where I got it. Yeah, and we usually pay like $10 a big pickup truck full it used to be our van and our we throw it in full. our van and so it didn't cost much um but those planks have been really nice and it keeps you up off the mud and then we we took some from where we had it to the side of the house and used it for our greenhouse so it worked out really nice and they last for years we've had to replace some of the wood but not much and sometimes the nails work their way out we just have to hammer them in okay frank oh shields where did they get their red hair and i think he's talking about ambry and ender and um they get it from my side of the family and from April's side of the family. And a teeny bit on my side. I was going to ask you if you had any red heads on your well, side. Well, I, when I was younger, I had a tinge of red in my hair. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, and, and my mom had twin, twin boys, James and John, that died. Uh, they had red hair. And I have aunts and uncles that had red hair. And April says she has aunts and uncles that have red hair, so... That's where it comes from. It's just kind of funny to see it show up. All of a sudden you go, oh. And this new little Francis that's going to be coming in October, we wonder if he'll have red hair or not. So that'd, that'd be fun to find out. Okay. Might read that one. Explorer. Mm -hmm. Explorer uh, DS6789. Congratulations, Davy Jr. What is his name? Yeah, we found out his name's going to be Francis Rockwell Orgill, is what they call him. Last, last Q&A, we didn't know the name yet, or if we did, we weren't able to say, we weren't supposed to say, I can't remember which, but Francis Rockwell Jr., I mean Orgill, <laughs> I put, said Jr., and uh, Joe has a great-grandpa named Francis, or great-great? He's, uh, Francis How many greats? was... My grandmother's father. So your great grandpa. And so so it's oh, kinda yeah. nice to have Francis in there. The family is everything. I saw on their channel what what a perfect name and how old is the eldest. So 
uh, Families Everything saw what the name was. And how old is the oldest? Oldest what? Grandchild, I think she means. Our oldest it's grandchild 15, is 18. Oh, I, I yeah, forgot our, about Our grandchildren, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she just turned 18 a couple of weeks ago. So the oldest is 18 and the youngest will be born on the 18th. Cool. Let's see, that'll be easy to remember. Okay, let's do Carolina Girl 76. I have been on the fence about spending money for an Instapot. That sounds painful. For what? An Instapot. It's just the two of us. Oh, I thought. Happy and I. I thought it was an Instapotty. Instapotty. No, Instapot. Instant Pot. Okay. I always thought it was Insta Pot, but it's Instant Pot. I got corrected. Um, and so I don't know if it would be good for small meals. Uh, and says, do you use it often? When is, it, is that the part where you make rice and yeah, yogurt? Yeah, rice and yogurt we, we and eggs. I'm using it a lot. It's funny, I when I first got it, it sat in the cupboard for a year, year and a half. It sat in there for a long time till my daughter-in-law said, you've got an Instant Pot? And I go, yeah. She goes, wow, let's get it out and cook something. I said, I haven't used it yet. i too scared. Don't I don't know, know how. And now, is that the one that's kind of a fake... Uh, What's it called? Pressure cooker? It's it's a pressure cooker. It's not yeah. fake. It explains it better. Because I have, I have an, a pressure cooker and an instant No, but pot. the old pressure cookers, they had one release valve, a little wa washer that would blow yeah. out. And mm -hmm. you literally had to let the air out before you loosened it because it could just pop open. Yeah. But that's not yeah, how but works. They make them safer now. Uh, but I have both. I have the pressure cooker and an instant pot. And... I always grab the Instant Pot because it's easier to understand and it's not as intimidating. And I only use my pressure cooker when I have to. When I'm using my Instant Pot, uh, Instant Pot already and I have to cook something else, it, usually if I'm using making yogurt and Papa O wants rice, he... Uh, he always says, oh, you're making rice? I go, no, I'm making yogurt. And he goes, oh, I says, I can make it in my in my pressure cooker. I love rice. I know. We found, we know that. Brown rice. I uh, think I'm going to have Brown you. rice, I can, I like it, but sticky rice, I love it. We're so going to have a, do a DIY, make, have Papa, Papa O make rice in an Instant Pot. <laughs> Show you how easy it is. It's really easy. Okay. Oh, where did you get? Craven. Oh, so happy I found out about your channel. Oh. oh, thank you so much. Love to watch every day. Uh, yeah, me and Papa. Oh, we use it all the time. You just you just downside. Like instead of putting twelve eggs in there, you know, to do boiled eggs, just put two or three or four in there, and or just put one piece of chicken or one cup of rice. So you you don't need to make a ton of food. It's been a good investment. Okay. Angie Attic, what do you, what do you go to the temple for? Is, is it the same as church? Um, it's different than church because we just go in there and make covenants and promises, and we do a lot of work for people that have passed on, and a lot of marriages. So that's the main things that we do those for. So it's very different than church. So that was a good question, and I'll post some videos uh, that explain more about that. Okay, why don't you read that one? Do you have a P.O. box? We wanted to get you both a birthday card this Thank year. Thank you. Am I correct that Papa O turns 80? <coughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> 80. We use April and Davy's P.O. box. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah, we use April. I don't have a P.O. box, but I, Davy says I'll just have him send stuff to his P.O. box. And I have that posted uh, below where you post the comments or... Yeah, and it's just supposed to be low, and it's it's P.O. It, it, box. Yeah, it's just below. What do you call that? In It's just in be the, below the uh, video where itself. I post, yeah, where I post everything. Where, uh, yeah, just it just goes to Davy and April's. So that's a good question, and so nice of you to... And Papa O will be turning 80 this year, and I'll be turning 64. So it's, it's weird when you turn the big zero one, like 60 to... And then to the 70s. 20, you start feeling 20, really old. Yeah, you're at 19 to 20, you're out of the teens. And and in 30, they say, you are definitely old. Yeah, then old. you get to 30 and you think, oh, it's not so bad. And then you get to 40 and 50 and 60 and you think, it's still not that bad. I don't it's know. It's bad, all of it. Is bad. it bad? Yes. And I don't know 
if you didn't know how old you were, how old would you be? What if you didn't or keep how, track? How old do you feel? Yeah, it's just how old you feel. So, but thank you. That is very, very nice. Just send it to April and Davey and they'll hopefully get it to me. I, I'm always telling them, say, have we got any mail? Did we get any mail in your mailbox? Okay, Carolina girl. Uh, how are we doing on time? We Okay, Carolina girl, 76. The picture you posted at the end, did you two have a vow renewal or something? You looked amazing in your wedding gown. Papa O is looking right spiffy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I posted, I think it was our 40th wedding anniversary. Uh, we dress up, and it's kind of like renewing our wedding vows, but we just dress up. We did it for our 10th wedding uh, anniversary. We did it for our 26th anniversary, and then we did it for our 40th. And part of it is the goal of the woman to fit into her wedding dress. Uh, no, I had to add a f add some pieces in the, in it, but <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. It's just fun. It's like because it, your wedding dress day is so, so it's so like dress ups. Yeah. That's probably where Evie gets it from. I. Uh, I just thought of the idea on our 10th wedding anniversary. I th no, I actually did it on our first, but we didn't take pictures. And uh, did it on our 10th. We would had we had five kids at that time. And it's just fun to dress up and just pretend like you're getting married again. And uh, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. And we'll do it again for our 50th. That's in four, five years, uh, six years, I guess. Our 50th. Wow, that's coming around fast. Mike, I'm be alive then. You'll be alive, okay. yeah. Yeah, you'll be here. You never get sick. Yeah, uh, so it's it's just something we do. It's just fun. Uh, one year we had the, the six kids. Our 26, we had our six kids. Were all, they were all pretty much grown up. And, and uh, people were kind of looking at us like, oh, look how cute. They're just getting married, and oh, and they have kids. Uh, they have <laughs> kids, and <laughs> they were calling us the Brady Bunch because there's three boys, three girls, and I know it's kind of funny to see people's responses, but it is like getting married again. And and one time we did go to the temple on our on our 26th anniversary, I think it was, and and did some sealings for some people that had passed on, and it was it was really fun. It was really. I know I actually got choked up when they were reading the names of the people. And I told the the sealer guy, I said, it's our anniversary today. And he thought that was really special. All right, let's do a couple more. Beverly, why don't you do Beverly Hill? Okay, love your videos. Hope Thank you. you. <laughs> I hope you could make a video about using Dave Ramsey method to get out mm -hmm. of debt. How you did it and what did and what you did to make the system work for you. That's a good question and um, I, okay. oh, a good suggestion. I, I had my doubts about it, but the whole thing is downsizing so that all your money's not going to a, a boat or a, yeah. or a big truck or something. Dave Ramsey always says, yeah. get rid of the car. Get or you're the not car. doing a second mortgage just mm -hmm. so you can uh, move up into a really nice yeah. home. Basic. But, Go but ahead. the best the best ones I thought is the the snowball, snowball thing. You start uh -huh. getting rid of. First of all, you mm -hmm. your goal is to put five thousand dollars aside for a total. You start with one thousand emergency. You start yeah. with one thousand for emergencies, and then you start with your uh, smallest bill, and you get that paid off. And then let's say that was thirty five fifty a month. Then you take that fifty dollars. You don't think woohoo we can spend go vacation with that money now say no you take that 50 that you were making payments on and pay off the next. and then start with the next to the largest ne ne next smallest one you know work your way up to the biggest one and it's like a snowball effect and then you got then when you get that paid off you've got 35 from your first payment plus the 50 from the other that you're adding to the next one and you just keep adding and before you know it all your bills are paid off because you're you're um cutting out the Smallest one, then the next, the next, next, and then pretty soon you're hitting that biggest one, and before you know it, you're out of debt, and then you've got your thousand dollars in savings. And Dave Ramsey just says, just start selling stuff in the house. Just start have a big, big, huge yard sale. Just sell, sell, sell. We all have more than we need anyway, 
and uh, get get out of debt, and then you get your house paid off. Get your so save up uh, to buy a car with. You buy some cheap old car, and then you slowly work your way up to a nicer one. And don't do any vacations. Eat rice and beans. Uh, quit going out. You he, uh, he just says quit going out for now. And then when you do have enough money, then you can start going out. You don't need to go out as much as you do or vacation. I never vacationed as a child. I we don't need it. You can do staycations. You can uh just just work like he calls it a gazelle uh you know with a lion chasing you picture that that you're just trying to get out of debt so bad because it's just horrible to be in debt it's such a burden burden to be in debt and it's just so nice it's freeing to be free of that isn't it and i didn't think it was possible but well i I did have to double up on my jobs to yeah, and, finish paying and off. Yeah, and Dave Ramsey home. says he always says get a pizza delivering job. He, he says work two, three jobs, just work like crazy to get. Referring out of to the breadwinner, not to the not to the mother that takes care of the children. Yeah, yeah. Says so I I stayed home because the the mom that's taking care of things, she's taking care of things, and 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 the mom. Oh, or the one that's the stay-at-home one. Sometimes the wife goes to work and the husband stays home. Uh, but whoever stayed home, you got to do your part and not spend. You've got you've got to cut back. You've got to do everything you can to quit spending and and save like crazy. Because uh, I remember what kind of hit me. That what Dave Ramsey said. He says, "Are you the little uh, red-faced kid screaming at the K checkout check stand?" I say, and I want it, I want it now. And I thought, that's me. I, I'm the one that want, I'm wanted it now and pay for it later. And I thought, you know, I have to discipline myself to save up, save a couple of months and, and one of the, get what one I want. Of, one of the giant steps is pay off your credit cards and then tear them up. Mm -hmm. cut, I them mean, up. cut them up. Don't use them. Cut them up. Use your emergency fund, he calls it, your $1,000 emergency fund as your credit card. And then you can use debit because that's real money. Yep. It's not this fake money. Boy, I, we, I got so in debt. Uh, anyway, you all know the story of how people get in debt. And it's a strain on your marriage. It's a strain on things. and. But you don't uh, know how you think, well, I need that emergency fund of my credit cards. Uh, and then pretty soon you think I used to think that I used to have tw I counted them once 24 credit cards and I was bar borrowing from one to pay the other it's kind of like borrow from P Peter to pay Paul um, it doesn't work you you just get deeper and deeper in debt so it's just uh, there you go you kind of your head went real little <laughs> I was sliding down you were sliding in my chair. way down but that's the basics of Dave Ramsey and he's on I think YouTube now where he gives little snippets of advice and we took a Dave Ramsey class and but well, we bought their kit and we bought the kit and passed it around to people in the family and it's just uh just get out of debt uh, he says, do everything you can to get out and just quit spending. We're kind of a buy now, pay later generation. I want it now. And whenever I think I want it now, I think of that red faced kid screaming at the checkout stand saying he wants that candy bar. And uh, Who, yeah. Who's that banjo player? That Steve made, Martin. Well, Steve Martin. He, yeah, he, I he, should put, find that video and post it. I think a, I will. He did a comedy about... Or I no, can't pay I, later. Or? I just thought charge cards were the neatest thing. You could just charge it, but it's so hard to pay that back. Let's say you bought something for a hundred dollars, and by the time you pay it back, you pay three hundred dollars for it. You think just save up well, the money? Well, the reason they pay three hundred dollars is they say, "Oh, what's the minimum I have to pay?" Yeah, the minimum. And, and they say you owe a thousand dollars, but they just want you to pay. Oh, maybe a hundred a yeah. month or fifty dollars a month or something. Yeah, we just don't need the things that we need. You know, people. 
I think you get addicted. You think, oh, I need to buy this. I, um, you just have to discipline yourself to stop buying and give yourself a budget. And Dave Ramsey also suggests that you use cash because cash is more painful. Like when you pull out a credit card. It's just easy. It's easy. It doesn't seem real. It's like playing. Play money. Play money. Yeah, it doesn't seem real. And then when you start forking the cash out, when you go 10, that, that 20, hurts to 30, give out a 20. when you pull the, the money out, you think, oh, do I really want this? And he, so he says, use cash, and then you're not so quick to buy pay for something because it's more painful. Make it painful to be in, in debt. And... And he has people call up and say, we're debt free. And I thought that's never going to be possible, but it, it's it, was. Actually, it was, we actually got out of debt. We kicked it into gear, kick you in the rear. And it meant driving cars and getting them fixed and mm -hmm. not just getting new ones all the time. Yeah. And he says, you can slowly work your way up. And, and also you don't, you buy a house that's, a certain percentage of what your income is. Don't buy a house bigger than you can afford. Don't buy a car bigger than you can afford. Keep it in perspective. You don't need to, uh, you know, a, a hundred thousand dollar car uh, and a five hundred dollar car will still get you where you need to go. Uh, so you don't have to pay the money. And, uh, you know, you just don't try and impress people because nobody really cares, you know. So, what is that? He who dies with the most toys wins. <laughs> <laughs> I love that saying. So, you're the winner. You got the most toys. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close. And the toys go to the, the yeah, children and the grandchildren. Yeah, the go children, grandchildren, and you can't take it with you, so downsize. And I think that's why that girl is so popular on YouTube that has you declutter everything because we are just, oh, we're just overspend. We overspend. We overbuy. We over everything because it's out there. It's, it's at our fingertips. So you will just feel a lot freer being debt free. And, and now she's saying, oh, I'm sorry. I asked I'm sorry. I asked. Okay. We'll do a, <laughs> a quote. Okay. All right. Here's a quote. A quote. Okay. Being frugal does not mean being cheap. It means being economical and avoiding waste. Mm hmm That is so true. And people kind of hate the word budget. Okay, here's one more. Budget. Here's one more. Frugality is founded on the principle that all riches have limits. Mm hmm And you'll find, you find somebody that's really rich, they're really... Uh, what she stingy. say? Stingy with their money. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they just hang on to every dime. That's probably why they're rich. How about this uh, one? Then? Okay, another one. Opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta work. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. When you work for money, you are better at saving it. Okay, one, one more. Okay, one. one more. Many people take no care of their money t until they c come nearly to the end of it. Mm, yeah, and then they start And working. others do the same with their time. Yeah, when you come to the end of it, all of a sudden you panic. You think, I need to budget that better. And wrinkles should merely indicate where the smiles have been. Oh. Yeah. Say, look at those cute smile wrinkles. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And keep your questions coming. And remember to look for the rose. And good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, we found a Dave Ramsey quote. Okay, we spend money we don't have to, uh, to buy things we don't need to impress people we don't like. <laughs> <laughs>